What is up guys, it's Taylor here, and in this video I'm bringing you my third edition of Loot from Mid-Level PVMing. And if you like this video, you guys should totally think about checking out some of my other videos as well. I'll leave the link for these in the description below. But anyway, as you can see, I'm doing a little Barrows here on a Reaper task, and as the title of the video suggests, I'm hoping to make at least 10 mil out here from some mid-level bossing and PVM. Don't worry, I'm not just doing Barrows in this video, I'm going to be doing all sorts of bosses, um, Slayer tasks as well, and we'll see what I get. But uh, I won't keep you guys waiting, so let's get right into the loot that I ended up getting from this trip of doing Barrows. Alright, so we're hoping for some pieces here, but first drop, really not too great, coming in at 116k. Next one, even worse, coming in at 37k. Alright, let's see what we got in this one. Oh, 54k, boys. And last one of the Reaper assignment. Alright, 90k. It's not great, but we'll take it. Alright, so I ended up heading over to the Dagonoth Kings after this to do another Reaper assignment. And check this out, I got a double loot beam right here. I got a Dragon Hatchet, and I got an Elite Clue Scroll as well, so that's pretty sweet. After that, I went to do an assignment over at Krill, and let's see what we got here. Alright, we got a uh, offhand dragon longsword. That's not bad. Those are good for alking. Alright, next kill coming in here. What do we get? Um, okay, I hate these offhand steel dart drops, dude. Oh, brutal. Alright, next one. What are, we, what are we working with here? What? We got a couple of sharks and a blue charm. That's great. Alright, we got the Krill 6 achievement coming in here, so that's not bad. And um, we got some death runes and medium bladed rune salvage, that's not bad either, I'll take that. Kinda missed recording the actual kill, but we got our first loot beam over here at Krill, and we got a elite clue scroll, so that's pretty sweet. And after finishing up that run, I just want to show you guys the loot that we're working with here afterward. We got just about 630k. One elite clue scroll and five blue charms, so it's not bad, it's not great, I didn't get any big drops, but uh, we'll see what we can do next time. Alright, so I ended up heading back over here, and it totally paid off. I got the severed hoof drop, which is the boss drop for Krill, and I do not have any of the boss pets yet, so this is my first one. Kinda crazy, uh, I am very excited about this little dude. Also got uh, 93 hit points, so that's not bad either. So here's the loot after the trip. Ended up getting about 580k, and we got a God Wars uh, sword shard in there as well, so that's pretty dope. But here's what you guys came for. Uh, check this bad boy out. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Alright, we just finished a Reaper assignment for uh, the Dagonoth Kings, and here is the loot after 8 kills. Uh, not great, but um, we're going to stick around and see if we can get anything else here. Alright, so right away we're pulling in big drops here. We just got our first keg for the boys. And I'm not going to lie, I, I'm thinking this is probably Dagonoth King's best drop. Worth 1.6k? I don't know guys, we're, we're doing pretty hot here. Alright, we got our first loot beam of the trip. We got a Berserker ring here, and that is worth 93k, so that's not too bad either. And let's see what we get on this bad boy, um, nothing great, just some rune salvage. Alright, we got 91 magic coming in here, that's pretty dope. I'm telling you guys, we're on a lucky streak here, we got another keg for the boys coming in, that makes three on this trip. Guys, my RNG is just off the charts here, we got our fourth keg for the boys. All I'm saying is, um, you know, the, the bevies are going to be flowing tonight if you know what I mean what is going on dude five kegs on this trip um, I'm gonna stop doing the bit after after this one I promise <laughs> all right so I'm ending the trip here uh, here is the loot we actually did pretty well for ourselves 1.69 mil um, obviously the kegs but also we got that berserker ring we got a bunch of helmets and the bones of course so we're doing pretty good here Okay, so I just killed a bunch of these kangaroo looking guys on a slayer task, and we got 360k. It's not great, but it's okay, it didn't take me that long. 
but um, we'll see what we get in the next layer task here. Just finished up a quick desert strike worm task and we got 220k here. Not great, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with it. Alright, here's some good money coming in. We just finished an abyssal demons task and we're looking at 979k afterwards. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, so we're over at KBD and let's see if we can get some good stuff here. Um, nothing really doing on this pile, that's okay. No luck on this guy. Um, nope. Alright, so I really thought I wasn't going to get anything from the KBD in this video, but look what we have here. We got a KBD head. And I just got to show you guys this. I'm going to run outside for a second here. So, as you can see here, I have 135 KBD kills and I have three heads. One Dragon Rider boot and one ornament kit, and that's it. Now that's pretty crazy to me. How do I have three of these things? Alright, so as you can see, we're doing a little bit of Commander Zilliana here, and I really didn't get too much loot, so I'm just going to show you the loot after the fact here. So we got just about 470k. We got another uh, God Sword shard here, um, but other than that, really nothing too exciting. Alright, so we are back over at Barros, and let's see if we can get anything in this one. Alright, nope. Okay, 50k, that's gonna be a nope. Okay, we got a Dragon Helm here, that's not bad. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hey, alright, finally, we got something good. We got a Darox Great Axe. I will definitely take that. Okay, so I actually don't remember how many runs that was, but after all that, we ended up getting just about 1.3 mil. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, so now we're getting to the good part where I show you guys all the... Okay, this guy's getting in my way here. Just give me a second. Um, where I show you guys all the loot and I sell it all in the GE. But let's see what this first inventory is looking like here. Alright, we got 8.6 mil. That's pretty sweet. Not too shabby. That dragon hatchet's definitely helping out here. And for inventory number two, we got... 2.1 mil so it's already looking like we're getting close to 10 mil here that's not bad can't forget about these kegs here they're looking pretty fresh in the corner and inventory number three coming in here this is kind of all the junk stuff we got 680k all right so now i'm gonna pop all this stuff in the ge and i'll see what we can get here we're starting at zero coins in the pouch so hopefully we can get that 10 mil Okay, so as you can see here, everything sold except I couldn't manage to sell the Darox Axe or the Grifolic Gloves. But as you can see here, we've got 11 mil sitting in the inventory. So yeah, we definitely reached our goal of getting 10 mil. We got 11.3 mil here. We got that KBD head. We got the Axe. And we got our little guy here as well. So I'm going to end the video right here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like the video. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this. And definitely comment below what videos you guys might want to see from my channel in the future. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.